constitution. It's because in the run-up to the 2007 elections, mm -hmm. This word was used a lot in uh, some parts of this country, and, uh, more especially in the Rift Valley. So people, uh, those who push for it in the constitution want to ensure that a situation like that does not recur. Mm -hmm. And Dibali, if you live in Kenya, you know that we lost lives mm -hmm. in, in Rift Valley. People died. And that's why that word, hate speech, was put in our constitution. If you go to Rwanda, you know that profiling ethnic groups caused about uh, one million people uh, to die in, in Rwanda. So I, I, I agree with uh, my good friend Gilad Sholei and uh, our friend from Mombasa that not every word should be criminalized but there are words that can steer ethnic hatred and that can lead to loss of lives which we should, we should be very careful not to use. Number two, this idea of uh, you know, using words in a very derogatory manner mm -hmm. against certain candidates, that's not the way you engage in a sober uh, campaigns that should be discouraged, and I hope that the, the victims can uh, own up and uh, come up out as state men and women, and say that I think this is not right. We will not use these words uh, uh, going forward. Going back to the matter of uh, uh, right owner Borairo Dinka, I, I must confess that I'm not uh, privy to the summons that were allegedly issued, but uh, the word Madoadoa becomes hate speech in the context within which it is used, okay? I heard you telling us, and, and I think I read in the newspaper that even Senator Linturi was taken to court and then he was released. Maybe Reverend Kobe has been advised and, and told, don't pursue these summons because the context in which uh, right Honorable Rai Rodinka used that word cannot be tantamount to hate speech. And at times we should not waste a lot of time in the bar if on the face of it you can evaluate uh, uh, a statement and uh, classify it as one that's not, that does not amount to, to hate speech. Thank uh, you. Yeah. So if, if that is the situation, why bother summoning Raila Odinga if you have arrived at that conclusion that indeed what, looking at what he said in the context he said the words, they are not that amount to hate speech. Thank you. Yeah. All right. Lastly, as we're closing up on it, and uh, I think also this editorial cartoon by Victor is very telling. Uh, if we may just have it there, then we close up with it. Because NCIC also have been seeking uh, prosecution.